Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Armin and in this video I would like to teach you how to calculate sun absorption loss of a sample with JCA method. First I need an impedance tube. I'm gonna click on Mother Wizard 3D and I'm gonna click on Pressure Acoustic Frequency Domain and hit on Add. Next, uh, I need a frequency domain, so I'm going to click on frequency domain and hit on done. I downloaded an open access paper before. This is title of paper and you can download it from ResearchGate. Okay. Uh, I want to calculate absorption coefficient of this material. This is a felt with 100 millimeter diameter and 20 millimeter thickness. Okay, the explanation is enough. It's better to create the geometry. First, I'm gonna change unit to millimeter. I need a cylinder, so I'm gonna click on cylinder and I'm gonna enter dimensions. Radius is five millimeter and length is optional. It's not important. I'm going to change Z axis to X axis. I think uh, impedance tube is too long. I think it's okay. Now I'm going to define a domain for sample. So I'm going to click on work plan. Uh, I'm going to click on face parallel and I'm going to click on it 20 millimeter uh, I have to reverse the direction so I'm going to click on reverse normal direction I'm, I'm going to click on build all object now I have to split this tube with uh, work plan so I'm going to click on boolean and partitions and click on partition domain I'm going to select it and from it I'm going to click on build all object. This is domain of my sample. Okay, it's time to define material. I'm going to click on material, right click on it and I'm going to hit on add material, of material from library. I'm going to select air and I'm going to click on add to component. Now I want to define boundary conditions. I need a port for inlet. So I'm going to right click on pressure acoustic and I'm going to hit on port. I need a port here. Uh, it's circular. Uh, amplitude. amplitude is 1 Pascal. It's optional. It's not important. Uh, I'm going to right click on port 1 and I'm going to select circular port reference axis. I need two points, only two points. So I'm going to clear selection and I'm going to select two point. This is the sample and I'm going to define poro acoustic domain for it. So I'm going to click on Physics, Domain, and Pro Acoustics. I'm going to click on Sample. I have to select JCA model. You can see here uh, Matrix Property. JCA model has five parameters. In Table 1, you can see all of parameters. I'm going to enter all of parameters in porous matrix properties.
now I have to enter uh, frequency interval uh, this is uh, 0 to 2000 so I'm gonna enter 1 step 10 and stop at 2000 frequency I'm gonna click on add and now I want to see the mesh I'm gonna click on build all this is mesh I think everything is okay so I'm gonna click on compute okay now you can see acoustic pressure uh, you can see here sound pressure level and acoustic pressure are the surfaces I have to define absorption coefficient so I'm gonna right click on definition and select variables I want to define reflection coefficient respect to power. I'm going to define power of incident mode divided to ongoing mode. Now it's time to define alpha. At the end, be sure to click on update solution. I have to create one d plot group. Now I'm going to click on it and select global. I'm going to write alpha and I'm going to click on plot. This is figure of sound absorption coefficient. We can compare the answer with the article. Thank you for watching.